Hey guys, it's Tinker Taylor here today, bringing you day 23 of the A to Z challenge. I cannot believe we are three days away from finishing. Um, or if you include this one. Um, no, it's just absolutely insane that we've actually gotten this far. Um, yeah, and I'm really kind of happy with how this one turned out. Uh, so originally I was going to do a workshop, but I wasn't really sure what direction I wanted to head with uh, that. I didn't know if I wanted it to be like a Santa's workshop or like a bit like the electrician's workshop or a, a, a workshop. In, I, I don't know. So I got very overwhelmed and um, my mum actually suggested that I do a, a Western saloon because W, we were both sitting there like, what do we do? She did suge suggest a warehouse, but I it did the factory, which kind of turned out looking more like a warehouse than a factory um so yeah she helped me come up with this idea and I, I actually kind of really like it so originally when I was trying to come up with ideas I was like well I don't really want to do things that are like you have to kind of tilt your head to see the letter um like a western saloon would originally like at the start of the challenge I would have been like no because that's a style and not the build and not this blah 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 uh but yeah, I've kind of given up on caring and I've done something that I've never built before. So this was really, really fun. Um, I really wanted to build the, I think it's called the Last Resort Saloon? The, La the Last Something res uh, Saloon from the TV show, oh my goodness, uh, Red Dwarf. Uh, I don't know why that took me so long to think of. It's my favourite show. It's one of my favourite shows. Um, and... Yeah, there's a saloon in it, and I really like kind of like how it looks, but I'm gonna find photos of it, and I wasn't gonna watch a whole episode again just to rebuild it. Um, so I just went to good old Google and took some inspiration from there, and I just made it my own, uh, which is really fun. So the saloon was actually all these light colours, and then I want, uh, I don't really like it being the light colours, it doesn't work. I don't like the way it's turned out, blah blah blah, so I end up doing a darker saloon, so I do change all the colours to darker colours, um, and downstairs is the bar, some seating areas, a piano, a uh, fireplace, uh, and some like, a uh, nectar storage I guess, um, and then upstairs is a bathroom, another lounge area, and like a little tiny office. Um, the only walls really that are built are around the stairs and the bathroom. Um, originally I was thinking about putting the bathroom down the stairs but it's already such a small place that it would have just totally drowned it out I guess. Like it totally would have taken away from that floor plan at the bottom and then I would have had all this extra space at the top that I didn't know what to do with. Um, oh, sorry, upstairs also has a mini kitchen, so, yeah, it's not behind walls, I probably should have put it behind walls so that I could have made it a proper kitchen, but I didn't, um, and yeah, so this first half is done, um, just me building by myself, I feel like you can definitely tell when I'm building by myself versus when I'm streaming, I mean, ignoring the fact that sometimes I forget to cut out the break bits in my stream section um this is very much like okay I know what I'm doing it's it's like I can just get in get it done whereas when I'm streaming sometimes I get very distracted um not distracted but like people are chatting I'm hanging out and I'm gonna take breaks and blah 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 whereas with this if I'm taking a break I just pause I leave I come back and I, I keep going from whenever I want um and say so yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out um and I am really happy that I did do this pretty quickly. Uh, I think it took about an hour and a half, two hours, somewhere in that range. Um, which normally I don't want to do builds that quickly, but I'm not mad at how it ended up. I still think there's quite a lot of detail. Um, and for a small build, you don't really need to do 10 hours on a small build if it doesn't need to have 10 hours. I mean, the longest I've done so far, I think, was 7 hours and 40 minutes on a build. And so I, I just... 
I felt like it wasn't a terrible thing to do um, this quickly. So uh, at this point I realised that um, I was getting close to my stream time. I could have streamed later. Um, I could have streamed much later because dinner ended up being really, really late. Um, yeah, I'm recording this after dinner. Uh, but, and, and a day early. Um, I'm really happy about that. I, I got all the work done for this that I needed to get done today and I might even be able to start on tomorrow's build, which I'm excited about. But yeah, I realised I was getting close to the time where I needed to start streaming and so what I did was just place a whole bunch of random stuff down that I really wanted to um, have in the build and I don't think I actually start sorting through it until we actually get back to being in the build um, like after my stream. So I do put some of these decorations down. I think it's Still another two minutes away so I'm just searching around for more and more stuff that I can put in. I definitely went through a lot of horse ranch, horse ranch stuff. I did not use any... Um, I didn't use everything, that's what I was trying to say. Uh, I definitely used some cottage living things um, and maybe some other things packs but I, I really don't think I used all that many packs on this build which I'm really happy about. I do like to limit my pack use sometimes because well not everyone has every pack and so if you have cottage living and horse ranch uh, you should have majority of this build. I think the cottage living stuff was just the hay bales because I don't sometimes if I can find something uh, in the debug menu, but I can also find it not in the debug menu. I'll go for the not debug version. I don't know why, but I really prefer the not debug versions of things. Um, and so that is what I use. Uh, and the reason why... I, I believe because they'd already added hay bales to Cottage Living, they just put it in debug, but it's the same asset as the one in Cottage Living. So if you still, if you only had Horse Ranch, you would still have, I'd say, 95% of this build, at least. Um, and those hay bales you could just find in the debug menu and add. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else in this build that is not Horse Ranch. Um, and yeah, like I said, Cottage Living, I think everything is... Oh, Actually, maybe some of the toilet, uh, which might also still be cottage living, and the mirror, which... Oh, it's base game. Doesn't matter. It's base game. Um, but even, like, the toilet roll holder, um, I put the base game one, but I think I just realised I put toilet paper in, which is the bathroom clutter kit. Um, and I use both of these. Uh, uh, all the stuff's horse range. So, I, yeah, I think Cottage Living was really the only one, and the Bathroom Clutter Kit, now that I see that, um, were the only ones that I used other than horse range. But you would only be missing this toilet paper, and the toilet would just be replaced with a different one. Um, although this might be a base game toilet, I could be wrong. Um, I don't really know on my toilet wall. Uh... Yeah, oh, and that's soap. But that soap's also a base game, so I don't think it matters. Okay, there you go. There's one thing that is not either of the packs that I just said or the clutter kit. It's... I have no idea which one it is, but it's a bath mat. Um, if you want a bath mat. Uh, I think there are a few base game ones. Um, but yeah, we've definitely, definitely moved into um, what I did on stream. Like, I, I believe... Stream started at about 7.45. Oh, whoops, I just missed that. Okay, cool. Um, anyway, the... Oh, there we go. Um, okay, I think I've lined it up again. I accidentally moved the... I, I play the video as I record so I can kind of see what I'm doing and, and chat while I do it. Uh, but I moved it and now I'm like trying to make sure it's all lined up. And it is, thankfully. Um, it's like half a second out, but that's fine. But anyway, yeah. I'm definitely on the stream now. Um, I don't take a break. I just 
power through it. Because I'd taken a break in between what I was doing before this, um, during the A to Z builds. I took a break, made myself a cheese toasty, and then kept on going. Um, so yeah, it's just a little old western saloon. I didn't want to make it too big, too fancy, too funky. Um, and I've never really built one of these before, so I'm kind of really happy with how it turned out. Um, if you hate it, definitely let me know down below. Uh, if you would have changed anything, also let me know down below. I'm not an expert in Western saloons by any means. So if there's anything that looks terrible, absolutely let me know. And I will make sure I fix it up in the future. I also think I accidentally left that pot on the floor. Um, I can't promise I don't forget it. Now that I'm thinking about it, because I know I move the plants, but do I move the pot? I don't know. I don't think I do. Oh no. Okay, so there's a random pot on the floor, I think. Um, by the entry, there is. I can still see it. Yeah, I totally missed that. Um, it's a the the where you spit your tobacco out. I don't know. Um, I just kind of completely forgot that I put that there. Um, yeah, and also, I don't know, I, I, that, that thought was a thought that wasn't thinking. Um, <laughs> no, so out the side to the right of the, um, the saloon is a little shed that looks like it's abandoned and I kind of made it like an abandoned horse shed um and I did put a horse trailer there as well um so yeah it was really it was something fun and interesting that I thought I could add in um I have just a few things to make it kind of usable but then again it's probably not usable I, I added stuff in so that it wasn't um and kind of made it yeah a bit overgrown and whatnot so that you could see that it used to be a shed and then it became a horse shed and then it went back to be a shed and then it was abandoned and blah 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 so yeah anyway um this is the upstairs i really don't spend a lot of time up here i mean you can see how much the like how long we have left in the video i really don't spend a lot of time up here these cabinets were annoying um i kind of hated doing diagonal walls but I kind of love how it ends up in the end, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the end of the build. Definitely let me know your thoughts, feelings, and opinions, and feedback down below. Um, and if you want to see more content like this, I normally post twice a week. Uh, although this month, yeah, with the challenge, it's 26 days. I don't think I'll be posting on my regular schedule until next month. Um, so if you want to see content like that, make sure to subscribe and I will definitely keep you guys updated. Got some really cool fun builds planned out for the next three months. Uh, but until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, morning, whatever, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.